man, I just got laid off. Have you ever had that feeling? Hi, my name is Fred Darris. I'm the president of Diversify Staffing Group. And I'm going to give you 10 reasons why, the top 10 of reasons why people get terminated. So follow these 10 reasons. Don't do them. And it decreases your chances of getting laid off. Now I'm going to go through this outline that you can follow through. Look and check the description. Uh, get a copy of this uh, outline so you can have it for future references. Number one, missing work. Do not miss work, especially the first 30 days. I know you're, you got a lot of things going on, what have you. Uh, we all have personal lives, uh, and that company doesn't understand your personal life. It's like you're talking a different language, okay? Do not miss work those first 30 days. Make that a priority, okay? You got to go to work. That's the number one reason why people get terminated. Number two is being late, okay? The definition of being on time is correct. 15 minutes early. You got to be 15 minutes before your shift starts. Be there, clock in 15 minutes early, okay? So when you miss or you're late for work more than one time, uh, alarm bells are going off, especially if it's within those first 30 days. Now, number three is communication, okay? So sometimes things happen, right? Let's face it, uh, stuff happens. So if things happen, you have to communicate. Let your employer know, let your supervisor know, let HR know, let your recruiter know. Hey, I'm gonna miss work, I'm gonna be late. Here, you know, let them know that you're gonna miss work, that you're gonna be late. But communication is a key, because what happens is you don't communicate. You know, you have a good reason, that you think is a good reason of why you're late or why you miss work, but you didn't tell anybody. You didn't tell anybody soon enough. A lot of times companies have a policy. You have to communicate within an hour before your shift starts, okay? So you have to let your employer know that, hey, I'm going to miss work or I'm going to be late for work, you know? So communication is a key. Number four, talking to other employees. Zip it, okay? When you're at work, no talking. You know, you can talk before work, you can talk at, at break, you can talk after work, but doing work, no talking. This isn't high school, you're getting paid to perform. Okay, you're a professional, you're getting paid to go to work. Okay, so no talking. So I don't know how many times uh, this person didn't get along with that person, they got in a fight, there was an argument, I've heard it all. Okay, so do not get caught up in that. So no talking while you're at work. Number five, cell phones. We all love our cell phones. How we live without it right so but not at work okay so leave your cell phone in the car turn it off you know uh, put it on silent uh, no cell phones at work no texting no okay so that's I don't know how many times I've heard that where well, that person's on the phone all the time what have you so no cell phones at work don't even put yourself in that situation do yourself a favor leave it in the car number six like my mom used to always told me it's your tone of voice Okay, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Okay, and a lot of times the employers they tell me, HR says, hey, they don't like his or her attitude. Okay, what they're really saying is how you communicate. It's not what you say, it's not what the issue you had. Yeah, that was a valid issue. It's, that's not the issue, it's how you said it, how you reacted to it. So it's your tone of voice. Okay, you got to be calm, cool, and collected, right? So you don't get caught up, you don't get energy, you don't raise your voice, you know, you're at work, okay? This isn't high school, right? You're at work, you know, you got to keep calm, cool, and collected, so it's your tone of voice. Be careful, take care of that tone of voice. Number seven, quality of work, right? You know, you got to perform, you know, you're getting paid to perform, you can't be shipping bad products, you know, uh, so if you're not keeping up, if your quality isn't keeping up, then they'll let you go, right? So a lot of times you're looking for people that have experience. If you don't have experience, that's okay. Quickly learn it. That way you get the quality, you work on that and make sure you're producing good parts and try to get some feedback on that to make sure you're producing quality. Number eight, the smell of marijuana. Okay, in a lot of these states, marijuana is legal and that's okay. So is drinking, right? You can drink, but you can't drink and go to work. You don't want to have alcohol in your breath, okay? You don't want to have the smell of marijuana on your breath, okay? Yeah, it wasn't me. I was in the car with someone. It's still on your clothes. People can smell that marijuana. So be smart. I tell people, okay, if you're going to smoke marijuana, that's okay. Have different set of clothes to smell it because those who don't smell don't smoke marijuana can smell it on your clothes, okay? You might not realize it. You know, look at the smokers. Do you ever know someone who smoked? 
their clothes, their house, their car smells like smoke, okay? Same thing with marijuana. They can smell it, okay? So when you go to work, have a clean set of clothes that don't smell like marijuana, have a different type, different shirt, different pants, what have you, uh, so it doesn't smell like marijuana. Number nine, okay? Sometimes there's issues, right? There's always going to be an issue, potentially. Make sure you communicate that. Tell your recruiter. Tell your supervisor. Tell your HR person, hey, there's a potential, you know, whether you're struggling with the understanding, the language, you're struggling keeping up, you're struggling with this other employee, communicate. Give people a heads up of what's going on, okay? So have them for lunch before they have you for dinner. So old saying a buddy of mine used to say, but make sure you give people a heads up of what's going on. That way they can fix it. You know, um, you don't want someone to come to you. Hey, I heard you got a little situation with the employee or the supervisor. It's too late. OK, you be the one to take the initiative and say, hey, uh, I'm struggling with this. You have any advice on, on how to deal with this? OK, regardless of what it is, you can get help. You can get guidance before it becomes an issue. And the 10th thing is not smiling okay you want to be happy you want to come across happy i know you're at work but you don't want to just be going to work you don't want to have that demeanor you want to have that energy that enthusiasm you want to be likable if people don't like you you're going to be on a list to be terminated okay so you want people to like you you want to smile that way you can stay off the list okay so smile as you're hitting the describe button here in the right hand corner of your uh, of your of your uh, website, and then uh, you can get more view more videos. Here's another video coming up. Thank you.